I'm going to prioritize uh, getting through Caddy Breeze stuff because I'd like to get to her tier two to be able to have access to Caddy alone again. Not immediately, but we're going to start. We're just going to start at the top. We're going to work our way through, I think. Because uh, we want to do all of it. I forgot to save a oh, great Garver. Good job. I forgot to save my formation, so. Whoopsie. Let's do this. Oh, this is a whole. Oh, this is a different. I forgot to save this formation too, though, so that's fair. Great. It's the wolf one. Okay. I go ahead and level champions up because of these segmented. I mean, they are only segmented. It would have been, it would have been fine, I guess. <laughs> All right, we're fine. We just got to click through seventy-five, and we're already at level fifty-two, fifty-three. Yeah, we should be fine. Okay, let me catch up in chat. So open Crux's personalized chest first, or open a ton of silver and gold chests first? Uh, regular silver first. Regular silver for an evergreen. If you've got them laying around, it'll uh, that'll get you to full blue. May as well pop them until, until you run out of those, just to grab all the item levels you can from those. And then dump all the named ones on as, and then you do gold on you know reg, regular gold chests to get them all their epics, and then you do the named ones because the because you want those duplicate item levels right. So it's kind of a similar way to it's similar to events where you do electrums, named silvers, and then named golds. Um, whereas as technically, if you wanted to be hyper efficient at end game. You do electrums, named silvers, patrons, named golds, right? To get as many uh, dupe item levels as you can. Uh, whereas with an evergreen, you do generic silvers, generic golds to full epic. Generic silvers to full, you know, whatever. Blue, you can if you have a lot of them. And then full epic off of generic golds. And then you dump the named ones on just to get the duplicate item levels. The feats you can buy for 50k gems only available for 50k gems. Some are some are cash shop items or were originally. They either are available that way or they were at one point. No, you can't get them any other way. That's they're all they're all distinguished. They're either default. You've got default feats. You've got uh, 12 and a half k gem feats, 50k gem feats, gold chest feats, patron feats, and now event tier feats. Right, so now there's six ways you can get them. There used to be season feats too, but now those aren't those aren't a thing anymore. Obviously, obviously. Hey, Oshiman. Oh, corrupted gem feats now. Yes, there's corrupted gem feats, but those become gem feats. I just ignore those because, <laughs> for the most part, back in my day, we had seasons. <laughs> oh no, that's a little too real life. <laughs> oh no, oh no, that's a little too real. It's a little too real. Uh, you know, going back to audio crackling. Mm. 
research. Windows sound control panel. Oh, God. Do I know? Do I even know where that is nowadays? Okay. Nice. There's that. Oh. Why does that not do anything? What are you... Why does clicking on things not work? Hold on, folks. Deep dive in here. Recording. Testing. One, two, three. Why is that showing up in lots of different places? Interesting. It barely has... It's like it barely shows the audio over here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, that should be. Those look fine. Uh, I made an adjustment. We'll see if that does anything. Some, of, some things are saying you got to make sure that all of the all of the audio stuff that you're recording in all the little places all has the same hertz, which would make sense. But it all looked the same. I don't know. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh, yeah. One minute until the uh, weekend buffs. The new mic setup time. Uh, the mic is is set up, Kaj. Um, we're still, you know, keep an ear out for audio issues. Let me know how we're doing. Um, there's some settings I can play with. Keep an eye on captions to make sure they're as accurate as usual. Another crackle. There's no reason for that. I was nowhere near peeking. Yeah, so we ruled out peaking. So, so unfortunately, it looks like that crackle, that mysterious crackle that appeared, wasn't a broken mic. It's OBS. Mm. So, you know, I just bought a brand new mic and... Oh, well. It happens when I touch my beard. There's no way there's that there's no that's not that much static electricity in my beard. I I comb it with a wooden I, I brush it or I put a wooden comb through it. It wouldn't uh, uh Yeah, I think it's uh I really think it's uh it's OBS. And now that I'm googling it, like there are lots of people with this issue. Uh, am I using a USB mic or XLR into a soundboard? Phantom Dan, I can rule both those out because the first mic was an XLR and this one's uh, a USB mic. So that has nothing to do with it. They're both crackling. <laughs> Audio's crackling either way. So. Oh. oh no, I can't change this while I'm streaming, can I? Well, I mean, I guess we'll find out. No, that's right. No, I'm checking my audio settings in OBS, and they look correct based off this post. Hmm. I don't know. It seems to be an issue that different people are finding different solutions for, which isn't helpful. It isn't helpful. Yeah, I do like that the mic doesn't have to be in the camera frame now.
I'll dispose of the sun on Monday. <laughs> it's an eclipse joke. It's an eclipse joke. Yeah, I mean, I got, uh, I mean, we had EO8 on Wednesday. We got up to EO8 favor on Wednesday. We did really good. But then I went and did Caddy Bree alone, and that rocked me to E13. Not a super big jump, but she was also gearless, so I thought she did pretty good for gearless. I got to 399 with her in the Dark Urge. Um, yeah. So we get her some gear. Try it again in tier two, see what happens. But we're gonna get everybody some gear. Some we're gonna get everybody's tier one stuff done first. Wow. What? What? So very much a sky is the sky is falling post on the subreddit right now. We already know how many big names in the community have dropped the game, do we? Who are they who do they think that who what who are they talking about? <laughs> who are they talking about? What big names have dropped the game? The last time I knew somebody couldn't play anymore, it was Silesa. Uh, and that sounded more, I mean, I don't know all the details, but it sounded like there was a lot going on with their job and stuff that they needed to focus on, but I could be wrong. And it was my understanding they were still going to play the game, they just couldn't participate in the community. Again, maybe I misunderstood. But that was years ago, right? What are they talking about now? But yeah, Silesa was a long time ago and had nothing to do with any recent changes, so. Is this person smoking? Or or what did I miss? Dice, who you could say slapping the first healing pigment on? Uh, or Kira, because it double dips. Because when you increase her heals, it increases her debuff. Well, their post is a complaint that it's like all of this time, stuff you have to do in a certain amount of time, and it's like. I don't know. 
like so it's a so it's a game with a lot of content you don't have to do it all you don't choose what you want to do do that you're not competing against anyone this isn't a pvp game you're not missing out on on something that's going to not make you competitive like if you're not having fun with the game stop playing the game i don't know what to tell you Debuffs to enemies act the same as a champion damage buff. Um, I mean, the difference between a buff and a debuff is that the debuff only applies if you hit that enemy. But otherwise, yes... I mean, it's limiting your dan It's limiting the bonus to the enemy the debuff is on, as opposed to just giving it the damage buff to everyone. Oh, I mean, yeah, a player quits because a champion has changed. Okay, I mean, we've we've had that happen throughout the course of the community. That's not going to change. Game balance. Yeah, it feels like it's like just the people I talk to decided they don't want to play anymore. And that means it's everyone, just like in an MMO. And it's like... That was a long time ago. That wasn't just recently. And their post seems like it's like Right now, all the things that are going on right now. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think my two cents is there's never been a better time to play. I mean, well, no, that's not true. When the start of season, season one was the best time to play, right? Season one through, you know, five, maybe. But, <laughs> but now, you know, taking that out, because uh, that was a very broken time to play. In terms of the rewards you could get, right? Um, I know there were seven seasons. I'm saying one through five were the good ones. <laughs> one through five were the good ones with the outrageous rewards. Uh, so it dialed down in six and seven, and then those came with some problems with champions. And I don't know. Uh, anyway, point is, uh, like with uh, with the new. Collections, which people have wanted for a long time, uh, with, I think, Events 2.0 is better than Events 1.0, like, massively better. Um, yeah, I mean, is there is there a lot to do in Events now? Yeah. Yeah, there is. If, if you can, if you can go all, climb all the way through them, there's a lot to do, uh, which reminds me, hold on. I forgot. I was working my way through Penelope and I finished. I'm on tier four of Penelope stuff. On my main account. I mean, you know. So you stop so you stop uh gem farming for a little bit and you do some you do some variants. I mean Yeah. Heaven forbid, they're actually making you do stuff now. Or 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 asking you to do things in exchange for a reward. If you don't want the reward, don't do it. I didn't do patron variants forever. You all know this. I basically stopped. It wasn't worth my time. Choose what's worth your time. The guide quests are a good foundation. I don't think they're amazing. I don't, I think, but there's a good foundation there in the collections and the guide quest system. Um. And I'm and I'm looking forward to seeing that. I know they're going to make changes to it. I know they are. Talk to the person in charge of it. So, but again, there's a time. You know, there's only so much time to do so many things, and yeah.
There's a lot of salt over Artemis not available for Elminster. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good. Look. I mean, I'd have nerfed I'd have nerfed Elminster so long ago, but if if what people want to get salty over the fact that they wrote a broke you know, a, a massively overpowered champion that should have been nerfed years ago through all the content and now they don't get him anymore, good. Don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. <laughs> I have no I have no grace for them. If that's if that's the, if that's the if that's your straw, if that's the straw that breaks your back. Mm. Then you weren't really playing this game. I don't know. I have a very strong opinion on that, clearly. Clearly. Can event boons appear in wild offers? No. They're they're effectively like there's some there's some packs in the store that are always there, and then there's some things that rotate that are kind of like event wild offers. But no. I mean, eventually those wild those things might like this is this is a this is an event offer. It's basically a wild offer for twenty four hours. Now, if this is un if there's anything in here that's unique, um, like what is is this? Oh, this is Rookie Caddy Bree. Um, I think this was. Didn't we already have this? If there's something in here that's unique and it's uh, then then after this is over it might go into the wild offer system but the boon portion probably won't won't it's just that item would right someday Carlock won't be available for Elminster too I don't but I don't mind about that stuff I've never had a problem with uh, that's the thing I've never played the game in a sense where like. Oh, I'm thank God this one champion is available for this patron. I don't care. I don't care. I never have. What I get upset about is when they, you know, when they butchered Nara. <laughs> oh no, no, really. Again, and my my biggest problem with Narak is the ultimate. Otherwise, I'm fine. Again, they took the DPS away from Hitch. I got over it. I moved on. You take the DPS away from Narak. I'll get over it. I'll move on. Fix his ultimate. Make his ultimate uh, uh, a, a not an ableist ultimate. It's horrible. It's not okay. Um, and again, they know this. They don't have time. They just haven't had time to change it yet. It does take time to go in and figure out. It takes design and development time to go in and figure out a new way to do it. Yeah, I thought Rookie Caddy Bree was in the game already. So it's just another way to get it now. Which is cool. For those of you who don't know, Rukia is Caddy Bree's um, reincarnation name. Spoiler alert. Caddy Bree, Regis, and Bruno are all die. But they are reincarnated with their memories of their past life. And Caddy Bree is reincarnated into a family who names their daughter Rukia. So you're getting, like, that version is her in her second life. This is, is a, you know, she looks similar, but there is a difference. She's darker, darker skin. Uh, she didn't have the, I mean, this is because the Bowen stuff is because of that's what she uses in the game, but she's a wizard at that point. So that was kind of their way to bring... Uh, did we have one for Regis yet? It's kind of their way to... No, we don't. To bring in that kind of timeline. We need a new... We need... Yeah, we need a Regis version. We need a Brunor version. 
Yeah, Penelope's gold find looks like it can get pretty big. The hidden agenda against me by C and E. I'm no, there's a <laughs> no, there isn't. But there are people in this community that probably think there's an agenda against them. No. Oh, there we go. That's probably it, Ricardo. So event offers are existing wild offers for the champion you chose. The first 24 hours is only new offers, so when the second go GE for the new champion. Okay, that's cool. The Ayla Boon for tier three, really 2400% all champs. Damage. If that's what it says, then yes. I mean, it's not like they're lying. <laughs> I don't know. What does it say it is? Yeah. Yeah, all champs damage. She's got to be in the formation, but yeah. I mean, it is what it says it is. Root beer caddy breed? No, that's not. Not it. Yeah, where my boy Spider at? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You say which mic you got? Mine is acting up as well. Yeah, I got the Elgato Wave 3. I don't know. Well, I don't have to. You know, get kind of. It doesn't want to. It doesn't want to be on camera. There it is. That's a nice little streamlined black mic now. Um, but it can sit over there now and out of the way and I don't I don't my hands don't bump it like they bump the other mic and it's not getting in the way super nice I already had the little boom arm like for the last mic but yeah it's, it's a much cleaner setup with this it comes with the adapters to fit to just any about about any size end thing I did get the shock mount and the pop filter with it, which is that was a, that was a lot of extra, but but worth it. But I'm worth it. <laughs> yeah, Trevor. Uh, Trevor has one of these, and when he got his, uh, he and I talked about it a lot, and he absolutely loved it. So it was. It's been on my uh, wish list for a while for when I finally got around to upgrading. Um, and it does have a little touch mute here, like a capacitor. If I touched. Uh, so if you don't want to, if you don't want to deal with like hot king, a mute button for like my, I have a hot key for OBS, but in other places I don't, you know, you can just easily mute your mic just by touching the top. It's pretty neat. It's not a button or anything. It's just contact. It's great. Uh, and it's just a, and it's just plug and play. You don't have to download the software. You can. It was working fine before the software, but I downloaded the software too. How is she more powerful than any other gold find in the game? Wait, is it really? Hold on. Like, like Lediath, when you say that, Krull stands up in the back. Like, I'm sorry. Like. <laughs> <laughs> is she better than crawl? Cause you gotta be big to be better than crawl. Uh, you'd have to stack her up for the dirty farm. Gonna judge the sound quality. Oh, that's fine. Judge away. I want to know. I want to. I want to make adjustments. The one thing I didn't know not absolutely nothing about is how to set up good sound quality. I always just kind of plugged everything in and hoped it worked. And people, and I'd ask people, and they'd be like, "No, you sound fine." Like one of the things is like your voice doesn't like go all over the place a lot. So, like, and I've been like, "Do you hear echoes in my room? Like, is there like is there anything I can fix?" And everyone's just like, "No," which is the worst feeling. 
when you're trying to improve something like no everything seems fine like but is it though like I, my anxiety clicks in are they just not telling me Baseline goal fund at max tax is E10. Okay. Does she have an item for that? I didn't even check. I don't think she has it. She doesn't have an item for story time. Yeah, captions don't work if I mute the mic. Yeah. Which is good. So I can have a conversation. No one gets to listen in <laughs> or read in, basically. How high crawl goes depends on your um, your item levels. Yeah, I don't know what I like. I said I the, the crackling does appear to be an OBS issue, but it could be an interaction with a program that I'm using that's causing it to crackle. But the crackle's new, and I haven't added any programs. Um. Lydia has a crawl freely problem. Wait, what's what's the crawl freely problem? Do you just not use crawl? Doesn't need forty stacks, sure, but but for those of us who know how to crawl, that's not really a limiting factor crack will start when i started running three auto clients well i'm only running two at the moment but it was last friday it was last friday that we got our first crackle i think maybe hold on well, i can we can test this out there Okay, we'll test this out. Uh, let me know when it crackles again. It's hidden power. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, lurking writer have is that comparing? Does that include Makos in a in a Makos farm formation? I know that's really silly because who's going to do that? But but Makos actually has a really high scaling um, gold find. If you build a party around him, it's ridiculous. It's not as good. I mean, it's it's an interesting thing. It's a I'm just but I'm curious. I always I always wonder if people even recognize that. 